everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Tori if you're new here and today I am doing a garden harvest tour and we're also doing some fall planting so I'm really excited to get some things in the ground I found my frost date and I'm just counting back and yeah and we're just kind of winging it so we are running out of space in our backyard here next year we just love to turn the whole thing into dirt and start growing things but if you are excited to see what we're harvesting and all of the fun happening things in our garden please stick around let me know if you are into gardening what you are harvesting where your zone is um, i'm always interested to know what people are growing and all of that so we are going to can some of this freeze some of this we're going to eat some of it um, just many things happening i'm making a homemade flower drying rack as well so that will be really fun um i didn't want to spend any money so that's what we did I, so i did end up getting a few things at the garden center they were free though so i'm pretty excited about that too and i'm gonna stop rambling so let's get right into this video let me know you're here by messaging me down in the comments below and let's get started all right first things first is to get this little tiny bed here cleared out um so we can utilize it for some sort of planting right now we have yarrow there so maybe some herbs but it might be too late for them i am going to harvest some of the yarrow and dry it um, i'm not going to make any tinctures this time with the yarrow all i'm going to do is um, dry it and put it in teas and things like that grind some up into a powder and that really helps for um, healing wounds and things of that nature you should do some research on some herbs that you can grow to help you in your medicinal garden Okay, we just referenced our farmer's almanac. Our frost date is September 30th to October 3rd. So there are a few that might go past, but that's okay. Right now we have onion bulbs, red onion bulbs that we'd like to plant. And then we have Cosmos. We have Royal Carpet. We have the Jewel Mix. I love these to dye um, fabrics with and do little nature prints with. Yeah. We're going to do more broccoli, more kale, broccoli. kale, wax beans more. from a dear friend, What's this? Broccoli. broccoli, and then carrots. Um, carrots. We're going to go get more cauliflower and a few other things from the center. I'm pretty sure we can go get some more heirloom starts so we can have some go to seed so we can collect those seeds and have them for next year so that is the plan um we have essentially i think i counted back from the frost date i think we have 73 days so fingers crossed we i'm gonna get ready we're gonna head to sam's club and we're gonna get the garden boxes right and he's gonna be the best helper and then we are you all right mm -hmm. oh my gosh You're being good. yeah you are being good and then we're gonna go get dirt and more seeds okay here we go Okay, Wai and I are going to get started on these potatoes here. We are going to dig them up, put them in this basket. We might need another one. And then we're going to refill this garden bed and we're going to plant more slips. I think we'll have enough time. You never know, but let's get started. finally in the car if you know what it's like getting toddlers ready for an outing it's yeah it takes a little bit of time so we are gonna head to Sam's Club to get the garden boxes our local farm to get some dirt and some heirloom um, 
starters and some seeds and then we are going to the thrift store and getting my husband coffee he's on a flip-flop um so he's sleeping right now and it's really hard for him to rest when the kids are running around so these outings are necessary it's just a little stressful so we are going to do that i think that's it i think that's all we're doing where are we going We're going to the Stormtrooper store, so, um, <laughs> not helpful. Anyways, uh, we are gonna get going and I will see you when we get back. talking about it and I really think what we're gonna do is just tear out this grass that we tried to plant honestly grass just doesn't grow out here where we are so we're just gonna tear it out spend so much money watering that why not water crops but we're gonna tear that out and then I think we're gonna get some of those huge railroad I don't I don't know if it's considered a railroad tie or not it's like a huge piece of wood essentially but we're gonna do one here, one here, and then come across, and then come across. We're gonna move these pole beans up to here, and um, that will be one big bed right here, if that makes sense, and a square rectangle, however it goes. We're not gonna cut them or anything. And then if that works, we're gonna put one here as well. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Right now I'm gonna work on just, um, trying to break this up trying to get under it I should be able to just lift it up because it's essentially I mean it is it's just sod that we rolled out so yep we're gonna do that we'll see how it goes wish us luck okay I'm disheveled I'm a little stressed out not stressed out just annoyed I guess I feel like we could just put dirt right on top of it the grass is dead the weeds are dead why not you know just put the dirt on top of it of course mix it with some compost underneath all that is sand it just doesn't doesn't work so i don't know what are your thoughts i know it might be too late by the time this video goes up but what are your thoughts i want to know because i'm hot i just want to get these vegetables in the ground on the plus side, I sprayed down my plants with neem oil. Hopefully that will take care of the aphids. Um, and it says to do that in a seven day cycle. So in another seven days, I will spray them again um, and go from there. Hopefully that will stop the moths and the aphids and all the creatures trying to lay eggs on the leaves. It's ridiculous. I'm out here like a mad woman, like I told you, but whew, sorry to be low energy, I'm very tired very tired but the good news is I probably won't run today not really good news but um I, sometimes I just don't have time but probably won't run today because I'm getting a workout in in the garden <sighs> next project on the plus side the kids pool is nice to come into the shade and just put my feet in and relax uh, I'm trying to keep it clean here <sighs> the pool skimmers are like $28 at Walmart so I got a mesh laundry bag for 88 cents and I attached it to a stick and that's how I'm getting all the bugs out but this is nice to just hang out in. Whew. Nobody needs to know Surrender to the grief Nobody needs to know All 
right, I got this all situated. We have broccoli here, carrots. We have those peppers, orange and red bell pepper. And then over here, we have some butternut squash, a sweet pea, I tried to salvage, it's an, it's an heirloom, so if anything, I'll take the seeds. And then I put a whole bunch of red onions around there, so. That is it for tonight. I got what I could done for, you know, what we have. And then tomorrow we're gonna go pick up that railroad situation and this will start looking a little bit more cleaned up. I have this old piece to our bassinet and I figured it would be perfect for flower drying. It has these holes in it. So I'm just going to make like Excuse a hanger. Me. Yes. Excuse me. Oh, you're just saying that kind of, excuse me. Okay. And then use these to just close pins just to hang things on. I think I might glue them on here or something like that, but that is the goal for right now. Here we go. <laughs> Forget how he did me wrong Triple crowns packed But I'm alright Gonna let myself let go I didn't live up to his standards But he didn't come close to mine I was too much for him to handle Yeah, right I wasn't his kind of a woman Didn't fit into his mold But I don't need his so here's what we're working with. I forgot to say good morning to all of you. It's the next day. Um, we are just hanging this out of direct sunlight. I think this will be the best place. Not the prettiest, but it will work for drying flowers. So we can come out here and I'll probably end up just tying it instead of, I don't know, making, making clips. Eventually, maybe I'll make clips, but um, this is how I want it to be right now. So we're gonna go collect some yarrow and some pineapple sage and um, we're gonna dry some different herbs. Typically I don't dry basil or anything, but um, the rest of them I will dry. Pineapple sage, I have some oh wait, echinacea, <laughs> purple coneflower, and I have some yarrow. I was actually going to dry some amaranth, but I think I'm just going to use those for salad greens and such. So we'll harvest those in a second. I'm going to tie these up. The kids, I'll be back. All right, I don't know where my twine is, so I'm just going to use burlap and cut it into strips and I think it might be good because then I could do like a climbing monkey effect with um, the toys, the barrel monkeys, um, with these Christmas hooks. I don't know if I'll do that, but we'll see. So I'm gonna cut these into three strips and then I'll just tie them and hang them. And my plan for these are to dry them, to put them in teas or um, make them into a powder. We used to take echinacea as kids um, for our immune health was my understanding, but then there's just like so many other benefits. And then um, for pineapple sage, I've told you before that it really helps with anxiety um, and it doesn't make me sleepy, which was like a big issue with some of my herbs that um, are supposed to help with that kind of thing. So I don't know, you definitely have to, I mean, they work in different ways for everybody, but you have to like test things out. Um, 
I might make some of these into a tincture, but um, I left those on the plants because when I make my tinctures, it's the best to do it when they're fresh off the plant instead of dry, but that's my personal preference. You see all of these herbalists with these like beautiful <laughs> like gardens that are fine-tuned and you have to do it a very specific way. And while those are beautiful gardens and I'm not gonna sit here and say like I don't want a garden like that, you know, it'd be nice. It's just not in my personality to be like organized and to do it in this special way, so. This is how I do it. If you want to try it out, you can do it too. Um, it's already so hot. It is 8.30 and it's just so, so warm out already. Oh my goodness. But the goal is to go to Home Depot today and get those giant railroad ties. Um, my husband had a late night though, so he's actually not even home yet. But um, geez. Yeah, he had an eventful night, which is good and bad. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get these. I don't know if that, yeah, maybe it'll work. I don't know. I don't know if that'd be really worth it. They're just so tiny, so I'm not gonna use those hooks, but they dry like this, essentially. I'm just going to hang them like this and go from there. It'll be really easy. I'll show you the aftermath. Here's what I have going on. I just um, have attached them to this, and then once I make more room, I will maybe have one hanging here and one over there, but I'm pleased with how it came out. Like I said, there's a bunch on Amazon. They're, they're pretty inexpensive, to be honest with you, but I really just wanted something that we had on hand. Um, we use the bassinet, but we just don't use this part of it. We tend to co-sleep with the kids, so, um, and we do it, you know, there, there's a safe way to do it. I know a lot of people are afraid of that, but um, anyways, the bassinet here, we just, I, we just had this and I didn't want to throw it out. So hi, bud. We um, are just going to let these hang and then I'm moving on to the next project, which are the Brussel leaves and um, some basil. And I will show you what else. This is the part of the yard from a different angle here. So what I'm gonna do is move these over here and then in this area right here, I'm just going to measure out how long those railroad ties are and then um, I'm gonna put some ground cover on and then I'm just gonna load up the dirt and then my husband will go tomorrow and get those stakes and I think it will look really nice. I think it will be plenty of room for those hardy veggies like cauliflower, broccoli, things like that that need some room to grow. Um, and some cabbage as well, because this is not big enough for this cabbage to go. So maybe I can even transport them. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to get this cleared out here and um, try and beat the storm that's coming. long can you hear me I'm shouting so I'm going to just measure eight feet out and put wood down and then um, that's how I'll know where to put the ground cover so it'll be eight by eight by eight eight by eight by eight by eight, eight. <laughs> oh man it's been a day all right yep so I'm just gonna lay that on the ground Okay, it's pretty much, let me show you. It's pretty much the size of this here. So we wanted it to go corner to corner and then across. Who put that there? <laughs> oh, whenever he rides that, I think of. Da -da 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 <laughs> Oy vey. Okay, I'm gonna get this going here. You should hit me with a 
This is roughly laid down. I'm going to do compost first and then I'm going to do some soil. I'm trying to be a storm here, but here is what it's looking like. Yeah, girl. Okay, here we go. Okay, storm's gone. Here is the soil that I have for now. I'm just gonna level this out and I will show you the end result and then tomorrow, railroad stakes. Okay, I'm going out to get the rake, but some of you may be thinking, why are you doing this in reverse? Why aren't you waiting for the stakes? I, let me tell you, I'm a strong, independent, impatient woman and I just cannot wait for my husband to go get those stakes. Um, and the stakes will not fit in the car with the kids. And we don't have like a nanny or a babysitter to come, um, there it is, to come watch the kids while I go do, while I go get the stakes by myself. And I probably, um, hold on a second. I probably would not be able to lift them, um, anyways and my husband's good at like asking for help where I am very much I will do it my dang self so um yeah that is why that's why we're working in reverse here but I am going to rake this out show you the end result harvest some of these greens here and get going on those okay here is the end result and I just thought about it. I'm impatient because our frost date is coming up soon. So I have a reason to be impatient. But um, <laughs> this is how it's going. I think I'll need maybe six more bags of compost and probably eight more bags of dirt. And then we'll be good to go. I was just talking to my mom and like back home, you can just like get a truck of a truck bed of dirt and then go on your way. But we don't know if that's a thing out here. I haven't seen it anywhere. Like you could even go through garden centers back home and do that, but that's not like a thing out here. So I'm curious. I'm going to ask my farm just to see if I can save a bit. Um, I am doing organic soil, compost, all that. So I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing, but that is good. That's good to go. Still got to wait. I'll go get more dirt tomorrow. But now I would like to get these Brussels go going I'm gonna take the leaves here I think I can blanch some and then put it into the freezer bags that will be nice um, but I want to eat some of this to saute it maybe put it in some um, smoothies and then I think I can dehydrate it and make it into like a, another greens powder I'm all about that lately so I'm going to do that too I don't know if it will make it in this video because it's already a long one and I know y'all are busy so um, I'm really inspired by this kind of video acre homestead does it uh, Becky she's amazing I really love her stuff her content she's awesome so um, that's what inspired me to do this I hope that was okay with you so yay all right let's get these going I'm pretty sure some of these are just a little strong and I know you can eat the stock but I'm just gonna cut off most of the leaves here This is what we have. We will go in and clean it off and see what we can do with it. I saw a lot of earwigs, I'll tell you, a lot of earwigs on this Brussels sprout. I was wondering where they all went. They're right there on the Brussels sprout, so, huh. We have some zucchini in here coming. Um, the squash is coming soon, but man, I have been fighting off these aphids. Um, they're making me mad, but this one's kind of running into here, so I'm just gonna grab her off of there. If she gets any bigger. Oh man, okay, hold on. Holy cow, she's actually a lot bigger than I thought she was. Let's go. All right, woo, got it. Hey, there's one. I don't know if you just heard me yelp, but I just turned it around to check it out and there was an aphid right on it. Such a jerk. I'm gonna grab this one too, though. I just turn it, I don't know. I know there's different ways to do it. Cute, different shape there. Um, and then 
yeah, a few more things coming through. I just am checking the leaves. She lays eggs on the bottom here. Oh, hey, bye. I told you in the last video that I'm like super mad about this. It's a full-time job. Have you seen that thing on Instagram? And I think it's Kourtney Kardashian's voice, but they're like, it's a full-time job. And I, I don't know the rest of it, but yeah. Anyways, um, there's a little squashy, cute little yellow squash in there. Do you see any aphids? Oh my gosh. It's going to be too late by the time you guys comment down there. Okay, um, calendula's coming. And then, look, cute little cannabis coming through. I love, love, love how they grow. I think they're such a beautiful plant. Those Brussels leaves are soaking and now I forgot I wanted to get some of this basil. I have some in the back here and I also I have one. some I get one. Okay, in the front. Oh, look, watch mm -hmm. mommy. Put your finger under it and then flip up, okay? Mm -hmm. Finger flip up and try again. Anyways, we have basil in the front too, so I just want to make some pesto with this, get it out of here so we can get some new but what did um, new greens happening. Good job, and then, Mom. Well, oh, thanks. We'll oh. go from there. Oh no. oh, no. All right, we got most of that basil. Delilah pulled out all of the roaming stocks, so a lot of people ask, hold on. A lot of people ask, how do you garden with kids? It's frustrating. You you stay so calm. Um, no, I, I get super frustrated because, you know, those are things that we eat. Uh, it's hard not to get frustrated, you know, but I try and remain as calm as possible. My demeanor is, is just like this. I don't know, maybe because I was a teacher. A lot of people mistake it for being sad or... I'm a Debbie Downer or something like that, but um, I assure you, <laughs> I'm happy. I do, you know, I garden for my mental health, so <sighs> a little, I don't know, just kind of, kind of annoying, but it's, I mean, she's, she's two, she's freshly two, so, and she saw us picking, so I think that's why she wanted to pick everything else, but we are going to rinse everything off, and I will see you soon. So I'm putting the basil into my food processor. I did um, find some Miyoko's for $2.99. Normally it's $6.99. It's really delicious. Plant-based butter it gives us a nice creaminess. This is optional. And then I'm gonna do hemp seeds. little bit of olive oil. They're watching Hocus Pocus and Delilah keeps saying dead man's toe. Dead man's toe. It's the funniest. It's oh, my second favorite movie. So. All right. Then black pepper. Probably a little bit more. And we are going to blend this and then just add a little bit of water, honestly. And that is my plant-based pesto. Nothing fancy over here. I forgot I wanted to add in some of those um, brussel leaves. I just thought it would give it a nice, I don't know, peppery flavor. Not too much. I don't want it to get too bitter there. Um, and then just a little bit of water. You could still do your classic uh, Parmesan and pine nuts with this if you want. I find pine nuts to be very expensive, so we are just doing it my way. I 
have a lot going on with the greens right now. Um, I'm blanching just this part of it and freezing it. If you don't blanch it, it would go, I don't know, maybe six weeks, eight weeks in the freezer, and then it would start to go bitter. So I'm just blanching this small amount. I know it's small, but that's what I'm doing. And then I'm dehydrating the rest of them in my oven. So I'm dehydrating that and the protein greens from the other day. If you're new here, I got these at Kroger for 99 cents. So I'm not dehydrating them in my air fryer because it's, um, it's a little chilly out tonight, so I don't mind running the oven. Um, but it's small, so I would have to do like multiple batches where I could just do this low and slow in the oven at 200 for around four hours and go from there. So I have this pan here, and then I have this pan here, and then I am growing some broccoli sprouts. What I like to do with these is save them. Um, I used to bring them in the classroom, and the kids would have fun with them. I taught art, if you're new here, um, to elementary, so they were always creative with what you could do with it. So you could do that if you're a teacher, or you could fill this with a little bit of dirt. I poke maybe four holes in it, and then I'm going to sprinkle the broccoli sprouts on top of it, and that should be good to go in the window here, but I will show you everything in a second. I have a pot boiling, um, well, water that's about to be boiled for those, and then these will go in the oven, and I'll show you a smoothie perhaps uh, another time um, with the greens. All I'm going to do when they're dehydrated is blend them into a powder, and then you just take a scoop and put it in your smoothie. Um, you could put it in juice. Uh, it it gets a little gritty just because I don't have like some fancy way to grind this down. So um, if you are putting it in a juice, I would suggest, um, you know, I have a green juice recipe on my channel, but I had to work up to that. So if you're new to juices and um, juicing just about anything, then I maybe would go for like an orange juice or a mango or something like that. But this is what I'm going for right now. All right, I'm gonna let this boil here for maybe two, three minutes. And then I take it off, put it in an ice bath, drain it, try and blot out all the excess moisture, and then I freeze it. Okay, I just put the kids to bed. We're definitely losing light. I got all the water I could out of that. Um, I just put it in the ice bath for like maybe 10 minutes or so. And then here is the pesto. I had a question before why I like small batch sauces like this. It's really only the four of us and that's how much basil um, the plant produced. Um, and then also I don't really have a lot of time to spend hours in the kitchen like canning and jarring sauces. So I just do maybe one or two of these a week and I have a pretty nice stock in there I have about 10 and then just pull them out throughout the months and use them for everything so yeah that's why I do like little small batches like this and I do individual bags just because um you know it's just easier for our family so I'm going to show you the greens here they are slowly but surely coming along. They probably have two more, three more hours, to be honest with you. I will let those kind of um, just sit out overnight um, covered, and then I will just um, grind them up in the morning. On the road, headed back to New Orleans. Driving in the country past old timey scenes. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on a paper bag. I miss you was written in a message in black. Thrown in a van. A thousand miles back A better time And how many souls And times that I've told The places that I'd want to be And how many days When I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave 
given we make time I'll meet you down the line my friends that is going to wrap it up for today's video i hope you enjoyed coming along with me and um seeing everything that's happening in the garden how we're harvesting and all of the plans let me know again what you're doing in your garden i'd love to hear from you thanks for being here as always stay adventurous stay creative i'll see you next time bye y'all i caught a glimpse of the sweetest girl's face i ever knew souls and times that I've told the places that had like to be and how many days when I could have stayed instead of just getting up to leave and giving we make time I'll meet you down If they never seem to come or to go well, Find me in your memories That keep you from getting so low And given we make time I'll meet you down the line Down the land, we'll meet up down.